Gang, 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 what's poppin' with y'all, man? Welcome back to the Street University. I am your host, Connor Slaughter. Y'all already know what's up, man. So let me get y'all this introduction, man, while we carry on and carry out. You know how it go, man. Man, you bitch niggas better enter your butt elevate. I need six figure money, won't have a bucks and hella cake. Fuck boy, I been on dummy, shootin' hella ops, make them a day. If not him, they kill his mama, make him feel his wrath in the hell away. Hydro shock, but it's all in his chest, watch as they swim away. I don't stop shooting till you die in your last breath, and then I skid away. This a hollow tip. Gang, gang, nothing like a good book, right? It's not like a good book, you know? A good book to soothe your mind. Books is like therapy, man. You know? They is, they like therapy. You know? <clears throat> good ones, right? It's not like a good one. I hate how that made the screen go. But welcome back to the Street University, man. I am your host, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button and hit that subscribe for those of y'all that haven't subscribed. Myself, I was doing a little exercise camp from ribbing and running the streets all day, um, making ends meet, um, you know, doing things of that nature. <laughs> Some people be like, man, you can't tell everybody your life and what you're doing all in your life. But me, I like to do keep it real with y'all. So, you know, um, for that factor, I be wondering why people be so confused. Life ain't about confusion. Life is about figuring out, right? But yeah, there's too many people that can't figure out <clears throat> certain things in life. I remember I used to be a person like that. I'm not going to lie to you, but see, and then I started figuring out, I started doing a little more studying and researching and paying a little more attention to myself, not only myself, but my surroundings and others around my surroundings. <clears throat> and therefore, it led me to a, a great moment of um, a great moment of understanding, a great moment of, uh, you know, realization, <clears throat> a great moment of um, intuition and noticing. At the end of the day, I notice who I am. I notice I'm greater than I used to be. I notice that I'm going harder than I used to because before when I wasn't going this hard game, I was so angry and upset all the time. It was just so confusing to me. And I never can get it right, you know what I'm saying? And nowadays, it's like, shit, the only thing that upsets me now is the shit that don't make sense. If it's not common sense, if it's not knowledgeable or logical. A lot of times, a lot of things in the world ain't logical, right? But it's like, due to the fact we try so hard to understand it and make it logical more logical you know um and get it and get it to where it's well fit in our you know understanding structure uh our molecule of understanding um that you know you just try you keep trying so hard but to be confused me no i can't i find myself not i'll be you know <clears throat> more so focused on trying to understand how to get past that stage more so focused on understanding how to um, uh, uprise against every, you know, a barrier that was against me, every hold back point in my life, every, um, you know, time or chance that I couldn't go further, or, you know, uh, do things different. That's what I do, gang. But at the end of the day, I'll be like, Lo, yo, learn a little, man. Everybody got to learn a little, even learn a little bit about some shit you probably ain't never know or some shit you probably ain't never thought you was going to want to learn about. You know, that's some stuff you got to dig your hand in, right? Yeah, you do. You got to dig your hand right in there because at the end of the day, with that, with doing so, you trying to tap into everything on the universe, everything on the planet. You're trying to tap into every spiritual and celestial thing around the world, gang. You know what I'm saying? Or in your vicinity. And what's ever in your vicinity, you got to make sure it's, it's, it's just of positive nature, of positive frequency. So like I was telling somebody um, earlier, you know, uh, to master every level of frequency, you got to be able to dive in or out of every level of frequency in life. And I, I don't mean radio frequencies. I mean in life, but life is sort of like a radio frequency, right? Shout out to Billy Carson. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to know how to maneuver within that, right? And scale back out and scale back to the point of um, the point where you, you know, want it to be where you most happy at, right? Um, and that's not to be confused about. So, and the reason is not to be confused about because, you know, as you're scaling, you're reflecting, you're in the mirror, you look and you're reflecting, right? And you're like, yo, I see who this, I see who I am. I see the person I was last year and the person I was yesterday, last month, last week. And I know I want to be that person going into the future, moving into the future. I know I want to think like I did moving into the future. You feel me? I know I want to move like I was moving into the future, right? I want to move different. I want to move at a different pace. I want to move at, at a different speed now. So it's like <clears throat> when you start recognizing that game and you get the moving at that pace and speed, you know, it's a balance. It's a balance between here and now, life and the future where you get in between. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, that very moment right there, 
it'll make you feel like you want to give up, right? But you don't see, and that's where you keep going harder, right? You push harder. And most people are like, why you say that, Slaughter? Because, you know, that's just when you find out how strong and tough you is mentally, not physically. Some people only want the physicality of toughness. You know, no, your brain got to be strong and tough too. See, when you lose your sanity, gang, it's really over. Once you lose your sanity, it ain't really much nobody can do with you, you feel me? All they can do is pray for you and hope for you. You know what I'm saying? Hope that you get a better outcome in life. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, this, the life we plan on and the year we in gang and the times and the pace is moving that gang, it's time. Time waiting on nobody and it's time not to play, right? It's time for you to get straight to it and, and that's the best way you can, doing everything you can in, in the world that's possible. Except for anything that's negative and jeopardizing your character, your life, your family, and all the above, right? So what can you do? Whatever it is that you've been doing, you know, if you was a nigga that was doing nothing or a female that was doing nothing, gang, then I mean, you got to get up and do something, right? If you was a man who had a business or something, or you got something going, you got a job you're working, then you continue that job, but this is the thing, you work to own that job, you hear me? Now you put your mind there. If you're a woman, same thing, but now you put your mind there. Some people be like, well, that don't work for everybody. Well, yes, it does, gang, because look, everybody got the same 24 hours. It's all about how you devote and de uh, dedicate yourself. Because I was a person at one point in time who used to say, man, filling out these applications don't work for me. That shit ain't. That shit ain't. And <clears throat> lo and behold, I think it was that, you know, if I fill out more, maybe they would work. If I if I did just a couple more, maybe I would land a spot. You know what I'm saying? And I had to learn that the hard way, but it is what it is. And now that I learned that I can see and I can apply myself to that. And not only in that field, but in all aspects. You feel me? In all aspects of life. So therefore it makes it easier for you to negate certain energies and certain pathways of energy that you see is going down the wrong pathways. Make it easier for you to negate that back to the positive lane. You feel me? It make it easier for you to negate that back to the positive lane. But you can't do that if you don't know yourself. So knowing who you is and knowing yourself and how far you can go and how far you ain't or can go and how far you're willing to go and what you can't put away. That is key. You know what I'm saying? What you put on the inside is key. What you put on the inside of your body is key. And everybody will look at you and tell you different. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. and Mrs. No, that's the truth. You feel me? That's the truth. So because what you put on the inside of your body, you not only mess with your body, you mess with your mind. Now your mind got it. Your mind got to um, keep the couple steady to, you know, process this stuff. Now your body got to process it. But see, most of us blacks, what we do is we take drugs to process things or we get drunk to process things, take lean and pills and all that extra ass shit to process things. Some of y'all snorting out there and all that extra shit out there to process the problems. Gang, you can't do that. You just got to process it and work through it. You got to process it and work through it. Your brain probably got to just go through that part, that portion of life. You know what I'm saying? And the bad part is this, though, like some people jump the bridge when they get to the end, they wits and they feel like, yo, it's nowhere for me to run to. It's nothing I can do. It's nobody to call. You hear me? And that's why it takes for you to be a strong minded person, gang, no matter what. See, some of the drugs will break y'all down. Them drugs get to breaking your mind down mentally fucking y'all up and then you got people around you that opinionate your life you know what i'm saying and that break you down too mentally and it fucked you up and it fucks you up and at the end of the day you don't know which way to go and which way to crawl to gang you know what i'm saying so you feel like the world is all on your shoulder weighing in on you but that's not the case the case is that you ain't strong enough mentally to handle the process of everything you know and everything the processes ain't all gotta be negative they can all be positive but that don't mean you still strong enough mentally to handle the process gang you feel me so being taught that at one point in time in life will help you. It it better you actually been taught that at one point in time in life, but not being taught that gang or not showed that is one of the hardest things that you can walk through or go through because it's like, yo, you ain't getting no teachings, you ain't getting no skills, and they tell you to go to school for trade. School been lying for years, gang. We all know that the school tell you some bullshit shit, and then keep feeding y'all kids bullshit because it costs a big check. Now the fundamentals, yeah, math, learning and all that, of course, motherfucker. But let me tell you something: the same thing that they teach in the school, you can get that shit at home school. We see the white people doing it all day. Y'all see commercials homeschool call 1-800 gang they really doing that they taking action on that you know they executing out on them plans and we see how they turning out these kids turning out to be entrepreneurs because now they can you know the kid i mean the parents can pick what they want to 
homes for these kids about gang. So why is people still so confused about how they're going to live, how life going to work for them, if this going to work, is this the way to go, is this the path to take? Why are people so confused, gang? Learn a little, you feel me? And be useful, not useless. That's the whole purpose. But at the end of the day, I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe and courageous, gang. Don't be no hero jumping in everybody's business, trying to be a say the, uh, say the day, motherfucker. Just do what you got to do. Say your day and your family day. You feel me? And help whoever you can. You know, <clears throat> thinking of helping whoever you can. I think I done helped three people today. You know, um, uh, didn't ask for no money, didn't need it, none of that stuff. I just felt like doing it. It was something that was on the heart. But at the end of the day, you know, um, y'all got to do the same thing, man. I said, if black people do a lot of more of that, you know, because everywhere I went, I seen another black person helping another a person. It didn't matter the color, but I seen it was a black person trying to help a person. I don't know if they was trying to get them blessings or whatever the case, but you got them come, whoever you is out there. But, um, you know, I ain't going to hold y'all too much longer, man. I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe. Stay tapped in, gang. I am out. Gang, 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 what's up, man? This your boy, Colonel Slaughter, man. Welcome back to the Street University. I'd like to thank all y'all who came out, you know, gave me a little bit of your time by coming to my channel, both channels watching the video. I really appreciate y'all, man. And those of y'all that did not hit the subscribe button as you step in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Those of y'all that did not hit that like button as you step in or step out, you feel me? Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Make sure my views match my likes, gang. So y'all can keep me in the algorithm and keep me moving and grooving, you feel me? How y'all have been doing, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know I love y'all. Without y'all, it wouldn't be a me. So, man, I'm out.